This is a viewer requested video. Um, I, it was requested that I show how far forward, how far back uh, the, the seats move, as well as uh, how far the backrests go for taking those supercharger naps. Uh, power naps, 10 minutes here or there. Uh, so uh, why don't we go at it? Let's start with the passenger side. All the way forward, all the way down, all the way up. I wonder if I'll find some buried treasure under there. Let's go all the way back. All the way back. And backrest. Let's move it forward a little bit, make a little backrest a little easier to see how far it goes. There we are. And there's backrest. Uh, just for, uh, without crushing uh, the person behind you's legs. Like you're riding in an aircraft. Ugh. Not too bad. But you can also, there's also trim and tilt. So you tilt the front of the seat down, the front of the seat up, and now perfect snoozing. Not too shabby. Get it back to how my kid likes it. Let's move over to the driver's side. The driver's side, I found it is pretty much the same, yet slightly different. And uh, we have lumbar support, seat moves in and out to get that perfect spot. Of course, all the way back, all the way front, I can't even get in with it all the way front, my legs don't fit under the steering and it does go quite a bit further forward than the passenger side. And that is insanely far forward. Now in general the seat goes back pretty much the same. And then you can do your tilt-a-whirl. But down. Legs up. And I did notice the driver's seat does go slightly lower, at least in my car. All the way down. And back up. At least the nice thing also about the driver's seat is You have memory profiles. So, after you're done supercharging or whatever, oops, there we go. You can just hit restore. Guess I can get in when it's all the way to to the bottom.
Now, here is where memory profiles for your car come in extremely handy. And why does that not feel like it usually does? Ah, apparently lumbar is not part of memory. That's why it felt strange. There we go. Now, driver profiles can come in extremely handy. Now, I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six presets for my seat. Since I'm the only driver of this car, I have one for almost every occasion. I have one with my name, just for normal driving that I like. Then I also have one for Lowrider, which I don't think I've ever actually used. It just looks kind of cool. Oh, I just sold something. Low riders for when you feel like, you know, just cruising, which I absolutely never use because it's... I'm too short. I can't see over the steering wheel. Uh, then I have one labeled as sandals because when I am wearing sandals, my... Uh, I always wear real thick shoes. About a inch thick sole, steel toe. But uh, when I wear sandals, I can't reach the pedals as well. So, brings me a little closer. That's sandals. That's normal. And then I have another one for exit. If I'm wearing a real thick winter coat, because remember this is Wisconsin, and those uh, larger customers driving the uh, Tesla cars, exit might be a nice one for you too. Um, exit, quick button set, and uh, gives me quite a bit more room. Pulls the steering wheel away and up. Is that as high as it goes? Yep. It's as far and as high up as the steering wheel goes. Gives you quite a, considerably more room to exit the vehicle. Now let's see what else. Uh, sleep. Preset for sleep. My problem is trying to get back up to reach the preset to bring you back. Then I also have up and back. Whee! This is fun. Just wait until autonomous driving's working. Oof. Basically, up and back is just as high as the seat goes, and as far as I can. Yep, yeah, as far as I can go back. Uh, give me more room so say if I don't feel like taking a nap or at the supercharger uh, it gives me a little more lap room I can put my laptop out and get a little work done while I am waiting for my charge and then of course I just hit the button and I am back to Chris let's see what else uh, part of this driver or viewer request we have uh, dome and map lights. Well, technically the dome and map lights are the same. There's really no dome light. Well, actually there, is, there isn't a dome light. Uh, but we do have two map lights in the front, as well as two right above the uh, windows on each passenger side and driver side in the rear. Uh, they are very bright. In fact, I actually have them turned off. Now, I got my car when ambient lighting was actually standard on every vehicle. Uh, if you're not, if you haven't ordered yet, or if you don't already have your car yet, um, now uh, am ambient lighting is optional now. I forgot what it, I don't remember what it costs offhand. Get it. You will be sorry you didn't. It is very, very, very nice. It is worth every penny. Uh, in fact, ambient lighting is, is perfect. It, it, it self -ma adjusts matching your screen brightness. Uh, so it dims at night, brighter during the day, and it's bright enough where I don't need the dome lights on when I get in at night. Plus, since me and my kids do a lot of driving, sometimes we arrive home and they're, they're already sleeping in the car. So if I open the door, those map and map light or dome light ceiling lights come on and uh, wake up the kids. Whereas uh, with the lights off, uh, I can carry the kids quietly into the house and put them to bed without waking them up. So, uh, let's see, other notable features. Uh, 
cup holders. Gotta have cup holders, although these suck horribly. That's why I got the... Eh, just sold something again. Um, that's why I have the EVNX center console. It's got an extra cup holder. Uh, a little harder for my midgets to reach and throw the iced tea everywhere. And uh, I think that covers it. Smile, cheese.